What is up guys, Joe Holland here. I am here with Sean at the world famous Jack Traps. We are gonna show you guys how to not only maintain, but also repair a severely neglected Jack Trap that's been through some abuse. Joe, and, Joe likes to bring me the beat up ones. Yeah, I never bring him anything <laughs> good. I always bring him back severely beat up ones. This one actually wasn't me. Although when I was younger, I did do the, I made this error once and whoever bent this one, what happened was they fished cold day, iced over, over the trap. And then rather than chip the ice out before you pull the trap out, they just yanked it. <laughs> they gave the yank and kind of broke through. And when you do that, even the strongest stain, stainless steel bolt will bend. And this one has a bend in it. And there's a couple other issues from neglect on this trap. So Sean's gonna walk us through getting your traps maintained just normally for every year use. And also he's gonna help repair this one. Yeah, we see a lot of them like that. Just uh, at the end of the day, it's cold. You've had enough and time to go. So they rip them out. Two things you need. This is a number three bit and a 7 16th wrench. Those are really the only tool, two tools you need for uh, real repair. But this we're just gonna have to swap that nut or bolt out. So we'll take all this. That lock nut will come off. This should slide right out. Sometimes these washers will stick to the poly uh, on those didn't. So now we're gonna see if this will come off. get past that bend, we'll be in good shape. There we go. Nice. Sometimes if it's really bad, you'll have to like uh, cut that bolt with a hacksaw. Stuff just to, won't come apart with it bent like that slid right out oh look at that bolt if that was really bent you know you wouldn't be able to back that out of yeah. there so you gotta just cut it off so we just need a new bolt and i got one right from there oh, and uh this is not ketchup <laughs> it's actually lithium grease and then so, this is like a regular maintenance thing, right. a yearly thing anyway, right? So it's good to do this, you know, every year, every other year. If you pull your reel off, just get a coat of grease on that bolt. We do this before we send them to you, but slide that in. It's a little messy. <laughs> Clean that off of there. And then it's just like new. And then this is a good thing to, to uh, look at at the start of the season or sometimes in the middle of it. Uh, as wood humidity changes and it's going from water to maybe sitting by a wood stove or whatever, uh, the wood will swell and shrink and swell and shrink and, and sometimes these nuts can loosen up. So it's good to check them. Uh, and make sure everything's good and tight because what can happen is if those nuts come loose They'll bind your reel up And you don't want to have that when you're fishing So you just tighten these two nuts towards that wood and you want to leave a good little gap I, I typically say about the width of the wire on the tripper uh, That's a good guess for that gap but Make sure everything's just as tight as you can get it and then that'll okay, help. so these you want these really tight, really tight to the together. wood. Okay. That, that's holding that bolt. Um, nice. That's good to know. Stationary on the wood, mm -hmm. and then that way that reel can free spool. Nice. Um, aside from this, this trap's not too old, so uh, the grease in the tripper you don't really lose that like you do in your reel. You know, as your reel's spinning and it's going from cold to hot, that grease can work its way out. The, the <laughs> grease in your tripper doesn't quite so much, so but it's good, um, kind of like an oil change. Mm -hmm. you, if you pull this clip off, we can show you real quick. How often do you do, would, would you recommend this? I would say, you know, probably five years or more, you can go. So there's a little grease hole right there. This, we used to use the white grease before we changed to that red stuff a few years ago, so. 
Uh, it'll be, I would say, two or three years before you really got to worry about it on this trap. Um, the grease will just start to wear out and harden, and it, it allows water to get in. You'll note, if you notice your tripper's freezing when it's really cold, it's time to push that grease out. But you just push the grease through that hole and it comes out the end until you start seeing fresh grease. This one, the staples have loosened up a little bit. We'll just give them a little tap. If you have uh, a time where your staples pop out, you can like uh, put a toothpick in there and break it off. It just kind of gives a little wedge. So mm -hmm. when you put the staple back in, um, it, it just gives it something to hold because now those holes have been worn out and and you put a staple in, it's just gonna fall right back out. That's about it. She just like new now. Uh, awesome, thank you, Sean. Hopefully that helps you guys at home. Grease jobs, always a good thing. I do it every year on mine. I, I do the trippers every couple of years or I bring them out here to Sean because he's the professional. <laughs> but I do the reels at least once a year. Not that you have to, I just like that. I like having that grease in there. Yeah, it just helps. The more grease you can have in those reels, you know, it will work. It's all about how much you use your traps. So if you use them a lot, like Joe, you know, by the end of the year, there's not a lot of grease left in there. So if you go another year, you're going to have problems uh, freezing up when it's real cold. So it just uh, makes your fishing trip a lot more successful when you when you maintain the things like that awesome if you guys have any questions for sean leave them in the comments and let us know about your favorite jack trap story thanks for checking in thanks guys